So you've got an ultrasonic cleaner, great, but can it remove rust? In this video, I'm gonna try using a couple of uh, solutions, vinegar, CLR, calcium scale rust, and this particular product, Digger's Rust and Stain Cleaner. Let's see what can remove rust from these types of uh, rusty surfaces, uh, such as these bolts. Okay, I have just put in a bit of hot water into this ultrasonic cleaner. Let's just turn it on. I've put a bit of cold water in there as well, so it's only 49 degrees. So this video is about trying a couple of different things to try to remove rust from rusty bolts, little rusty metal parts that I have here. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to test out and see if any sort of rust removal uh, chemicals will work. A bit of a solution with white vinegar. I'll also try this type of a product, which is sort of like a CLR. This particular one is from Bunnings. It's calcium, scale, and rust. And then this is the one that I really want to try to sort of see. Now, someone recommended this to me on uh, my previous video about this sun ultrasonic cleaner and said, yeah, mate, get diggers, rust and stain cleaner. It's got something called oxalic acid in there and we're going to see if this actually works in removing rust from this type of uh, surface so ouch so for this i'm going to try a one to one ratio vinegar i'll try uh, one part vinegar one part water with this one i'll do the same one part uh, glitz one part water this particular product however it says up on the sign to mix 100 grams, so pretty much a 10% um, ratio. Uh, that's what we'll try with this. And this will be sort of the aura it'll be in, vinegar, this CLR product, and this diggers product. So I'll just get some water out from here. Okay, first of all, vinegar. There we go. Glitz. And next is this product. This is pretty potent stuff. Don't uh, have a good smell of this with your nose. It will burn your nostril hairs. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Now maybe I might try adding more of it in there. Uh, not too sure, uh, but we'll just try that for now. All right, so what the plan is, is to have them in these containers and simply to, hopefully they're going to topple over. Vinegar, glitz, diggers, rust and stain cleaner. And the beauty of doing it this way is that the water around does not get dirty. Just what's inside the containers get dirty. Then I just pull them out and it's easy to just empty out the water from the ultrasonic cleaner itself. Let's just take a couple of rusty items. All of these have surface rust. It's gonna be quite interesting. All right, this small one, we can put in with the vinegar. Uh, this larger one, we can put in with the CLR glitz. This bolt can go in with the diggers. That should work. And let's go. We'll test it at various intervals. Let's try it at five minutes and just sort of see how it's going. Okay, let's pause it there. It's been about five minutes. Let's just see where we are at. So, vinegar. That's actually not too bad. Look at that. Water and vinegar. Okay. Right, I'll plonk that in. This is CLR. Geez, that's actually done a really good job. This is only five minutes in. Jeez, that has actually really surprised me. All right, let's put that back in. That's CLR or Glitz. This is the Diggers product. Mm. 
this has not really done that well. Jeez. I would have thought it did a better job. Okay, that's this particular product. Five minutes in, vinegar and CLR have done a better job than this digger's product. Interesting. Let's go back in for some more. I'm gonna just tip a little bit more of this powder in here. I am a little bit surprised, like I would have thought this digger's product would have done a whole lot better. Okay, let's turn it back on and we'll check back in five minutes. All right, that's another five more minutes. So that's 10 minutes in total. Let's have a look at our vinegar solution first up. Okay, it's vinegar solution and with uh, you know one part vinegar, one part water, check it out, like that's actually really good. All that rust has been removed from the surface there. That is great. Our CLR solution or our glitz. All right, have a look at that. That is entirely rust free now. That is brilliant. And if we have a look at our diggers product, this is it right here. And I put in more powder as well. And this still has surface rust on it. So I'm not very impressed at all with, with that. That's performed the most poorly and this is the most expensive. Like this vinegar will cost you about, what, $2 from the local supermarket. This type of a product will cost you about maybe $8 from the hardware. And this particular product, well, this quantity costed me $33. Let's put in a couple of different items. And what we're gonna use now are just these types of items. Okay, you can see they've got surface rust, they've got some powderized, um, white deposits on there and we're going to put two into each of these tubs into my vinegar there they go two into my glitz solution and two into the rust and stain cleaner from diggers solution let's just have a look five minutes and what it does All right, that's been five minutes. Let's check out our items in here, shall we? Let me pull them all out. Two bolts from our vinegar and water solution. <laughs> Look at that. That is impressive. So, from that, to that, okay? That's uh, really, really impressed me. Simply $2 of vinegar. Okay, let's check out Glitz. Get my hands right in there. God. This is amazing. Like that's every bit of rust removed off these bolts. Okay, that's, that's impressive. That's only five minutes. Five minutes, you don't need 30 minutes, five minutes. Diggers, rust and stain cleaner. Okay, so this has done a little bit better than our previous uh, nut here, right? But look, I just wanna show you, this has not removed the rust buildup compared to glitz, look at the difference. It's like chalk and cheese. This is still left rust on there, whereas this is like crystal clean. 
So this is very, very interesting, isn't it? Like I would have thought that this particular product would be a whole lot more powerful in removing rust off metal, but it is not. Like I'm, I'm honestly very disappointed with that. That's not working the way I want it to work. What I want to try now is this nut that diggers could not uh, remove the rust from. I'm just simply going to put this into glitz. There we go. And what I'll also do, this, uh, these pliers, these welders pliers have a bit of rust on here. And also this is pretty rusty as well. Let me put this in like that. So you're going to get uh, half the effect and also that, just like that. Let's chuck in for good measure into our vinegar solution. And I'm going to leave the, the nut on there too. Okay. And uh, let's put these rusty bits and bobs into our vinegar solution there. And uh, let's put this one down just like that. Okay, let's go. Five minutes. There we go, five minutes. Out these come. Vinegar and glitz. So, yeah, it's taken a good amount of rust off. These were pretty bad. I can see these would require a little bit more, but still, for five minutes, <laughs> that's not too bad. And just check this out. Okay, so if I was to leave again a little bit longer, most of this uh, rust I think would have come off. Let's have a look at the glitz. So after only five minutes, a good amount of surface rust has been removed off these pliers, but it could still uh, be left in for longer, but I'm pretty happy with that. That's the glitz uh, product. Okay, let's take this out. Could be left in a bit longer, but even just for here, this part, compared to this half, that's still impressive. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, there is something else. It's this nut. Okay, this nut is the one that diggers simply could not do anything with. Okay, CLR, this was pretty powerful, a uh, bit of surface rust, I can tell, but if you have a look, this product has actually gotten it down clean to that metal surface. So this would require a bit longer duration, I can see now. So this was pretty tough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue using this product, the Glitz one, just to do a little bit more work upon this nut and upon these two bolts that diggers simply did not do very well in. Let me chuck this into the glitz solution. And by the way, this solution is pretty much the equivalent of it is CLR, okay? We have this in Bunnings and in our supermarkets in Australia, and that's what it's called. Or alternatively, the equivalent is this. This is a bit cheaper though. Plonk again. Five minutes. All right, that's five minutes. Let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, it's chipping away. Like this has uh, been a good bit of rust that's been on here. And that's a little bit more than what it removed before. So that's working pretty good in my opinion. Just needs a longer duration to be in the solution. These two things are the bolts that diggers really didn't do very well. And check it out. Slightly a little bit on top there. But overall, Glitz has done a brilliant job. Like that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, really, really good. So anyway, what do you reckon? What do you think of my little scientific experiment? You know, sound off in the comments section. Do you think I've been fair? I tried to do everything as scientifically as I could, but I think realistically, if you want to remove 
rust and sort of uh, scale deposits and things like that. I think the white vinegar did a pretty darn good job and that's gonna be your cheapest option. This, for this type of work, uh, forget it. Like I, I am not wrapped at all with this product for removing surface rust. I think this would work good for removing like stains off concrete uh, from videos that I've seen. But for this purpose, using an ultrasonic cleaner, forget it, mate. I don't think that's uh, worth the money. What is worth the money is this particular product. This has been brilliant. This or CLR. Now, one thing that I will add is that whenever you're doing anything like this, as soon as you pull it out of the solution, realistically, metal starts rusting up again. And so you really need to lubricate these things with some sort of lubricant, prevent the rust process from occurring so fast. So that's just something to keep in mind. Spray it down with oil, paint it, just give it some protection, and that'll stop your metallic object from rusting up. Anywho, hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you found it informative. Give it a thumbs up and I will catch you on the next one.